So I sent Jeff the link. He just sent me a message a few minutes ago saying he's ready. So I think he is oh. going to. Okay. Go oh, ahead. I thought he was going to flip the switch. He seems eager to talk. So first of all, I mean, props to him for coming yeah, on. Yeah, I think that too. You know. Tr oh, hey, we're here. Hey. Trisha was. Oh. Oh, hold on one sec. I hear you, but I need to move your, your, uh, Dana, you're going to have to, okay, wait, I see it. Okay, one second, Jeff. Dan, my man, my favorite. I, I love all the nice things you said about me so far. I'm really enjoying the oh, show. Oh, have you been listening? You guys see me? Dan, which one's Of course one? I'm listening. Okay. Uh, that one right there. Okay, we see you. Listen to all the episodes. Okay. I love this show, <laughs> especially the one with Scott. I, I mean... This one what? was interesting to be like, to hear you guys tear me apart, which I get, you know, I'm here to learn today too. I'm not just here to uh, voice my, you know. To be fair, I feel like we were being pretty, I, I'm, I'm always been pro Jeff. I never thought you were creepy or slimy in the group of all the people. I'm like, Jeff seems to be the least problematic of the group. So I was just a little shocked to see your video, I guess. Cause even when we talked, you seem very normal and like, I don't know. Just not, well, I don't know. Great. Then, then I guess I could, you know, I could start this off with an apology. Can you guys hear me good? Yes. Is it yeah. the mic? I yeah, mean, I can hear you. You're fine. Set it up here. This is, yeah. <laughs> so I could start this off with an apology. I apologize for calling you crazy and not uh, validating your opinion, you know? Um, I know the Starbucks thing has become a meme now. And, you know, I, I, I uh, got myself a Keurig, so oh I won't be God. having to go down there anymore. And, you know, I... <laughs> I, I talked about it in the video, but I did a shitty job. I said I'm I'm bad at this stuff, you know. Well, okay. Let's let's talk about something <laughs> specifically. You said a bunch of times in your video that Trisha is the reason you're in this article. Did you did you read the article? I didn't want to pay for the paywall on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. I listen. I I, uh, I don't want to make any jokes. I just have it. <clears throat> sarcastic tone like i want i want to be clear that i'm here so, but do, you, do you acknowledge that it wasn't trisha just saying that now after listening to you guys uh addressing the article a bunch of times yeah i understand so I you understand really didn't read the that. article or were you joking no listen so uh, yeah. i'll start from the top and like i said you know i'm not here to discredit the victim at all and i want to make that clear i'm not i'm just here to explain my side of the story and the reason i'm even coming on here is because i genuinely feel like you know this are there are some misunderstandings here and we could just clear it up if we talk it out and you know it's tough because you guys just picked me apart called me dumb yes and you know the chair is i mean you can't see it but i'm sitting i'm sitting the cool way you know yeah the i could tell <laughs> yeah um these actually i could send you the link after that's fine but but jeff let's let's try to remain somewhat serious here because i feel like you're trying to charm me with your uh humor charming yeah but, no, 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 and that's I mean, and that's but but like so okay i feel like first of all let's just acknowledge you kept saying in that video that trish is the reason that the article said that you got alcohol. The witnesses, okay. two witnesses yeah. there said that you came back with Todd with alcohol. Yeah, so let me start from the beginning. When I first got reached out to by um, Insider, the, the reporter, um, I like immediately, I was like, oh, what is this? My name in an article with Dom and sexual assault? Like, I'm gonna call right away before I had the facts straight. This was three years ago. So, you know, stupid move. You're right, I'll give it to you. That was dumb to call a reporter when I, I don't even know. But I don't think I don't she mischaracterized you either. So I got to stop you there a little bit too. Okay. So when I called her, um, she referenced that she heard from, well, at first I said, I 100% didn't buy the alcohol. You heard that in the clip. Mm -hmm. And then later on in the clip, she said, oh yeah, but I have a video that I heard from Trisha that you said in a barbershop that you admitted to buying alcohol with Todd for these girls. And I was like, I do make fun of Todd for his drinking problem all the time. So that is possible that I said that Todd does drink whiskey. But if this is in a barbershop video that was years later, it, how is it tied to this story here? And this is on paper. Like, I, I mean, I, I did record it. I have her saying that Trisha told her that there was this barbershop. Well, you made this Todd video had, after the article came out. So I don't understand. No, no, your no. This this barbershop episode. No, no, was, no. The video, your response video, came out af well after the article, after everyone had dissected it. So I don't understand that anecdote. Who bought the alcohol? Did you and Todd go to the store to buy the alcohol? No, hundred percent no. 
But you said so Todd had bought whiskey for himself. Yeah. Well, look, I could speak. I could speak for myself, and you know, I was. I didn't. Okay. I know. I know. I go ahead. I can't speak for anybody else. Did Todd here. buy himself? To did Todd buy himself whiskey? No. I, to my understanding, Todd didn't leave the apartment. And I know the girls say this, and it's so tricky because I don't want to. Was there alcohol at the but, apartment? There was alcohol at the apartment. Okay, there was alcohol at the apartment. We don't know where it came from. I mean, did you know the girls were underage? No. You said on the phone call that they were either 20, 20 or 21, 21, 21 years old. Yeah, to my understanding, yeah. So you did know that some of them were underage? Oh, well, it's, it, it's 20 underage for drinking yes that's what i mean yeah. by underage yeah so you were aware that they were underage drinking alcohol there i didn't know which ones were drinking okay you know. right that's fair but like just, i didn't I, I i gotta be honest like i i tag along for these videos and i know how it looks i saw your guys's videos where you broke down that vlog and i'm i would love to go through it because you know this situation was three years ago, so I don't want to come on here and stutter and sound like I'm in a lie because I don't know. I don't remember the story exactly. This was over. A well, I'm thousand. assuming you had time to refresh your memory by now. If you're going to go out and make that whole apology video, but let me ask you this: You say you were there for 15 minutes. Do you stand by that still? No, I was there for probably 30, 45, but I did go home. I didn't stay. Were you there the, the whole night? night? No. So you say you were there for 30 minutes. So he, let me, can he see this photo I pull up, Dan? Uh, you can do a, a screen share. You know how to do that? Well, you can look at the stream, I guess, if that's possible. What I have here is a photo at the end of the night taken at 1.18 a.m. from one of the witnesses, one of the girls there. It has in it all of you guys outside, Todd, you, Jonah, David, I don't see the photo anywhere. It'll pop up on the stream. And then what and then what what you see here is one of the girlfriends holding up Hannah, who was the victim, because she's blackout drunk. You can see her here being held up right here. And all of you guys there. Now still don't see it. So <clears throat> it'll be there in a moment. So what this proves and then I'm I'm assuming you were there when the girls arrived. They arrived around eleven, so that means you were there for two hours. Okay, uh, to my recollection, I wasn't there for two hours. This, I mean, this, this photo this is time stamped at one eighteen a.m. This was given to me directly from um, from one of the people. And that you're was sitting there. next to me at the vlog when me and Jason are still there. We vlogged later that <laughs> night at about eleven thirty a.m. saying we left. Yeah, and it's the end of the night, and that girl's clearly. So this being girl, held up. so this is after the the you know attack happened, right? And so so according to the the account of the events, she was puking and clearly very 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 intoxicated. And you guys are all there, so I have a hard time believing that the guy, all the guys there, including you and David and all you guys, didn't know that this girl was like borderline black. Well, I can I I certainly wasn't there when they were having sex. Well, sure, they were sex in a private down. room. You weren't in the room when they no, were. No, I wasn't sex. even in the apartment. So you were so, at all. so you left and then you came back at the end of the night? I guess I did come back. Yeah. Oh. I know as ridiculous as it sounds, but I live down the street. My apartment is literally a block away from that apartment complex. So you know. Trisha, you you know how things go with David. He's constantly calling you to film stuff and redo stuff, redo takes. And at the time, like yeah. I regret being a part of that video, of course. But it, if you saw her blacked out, why wouldn't you say, don't post this? Like, I mean, I, you say David gives consent to everybody. Everyone's like, oh, David says whatever everyone gives consent to. Why would you not post that? You're 30 and these girls are blacked out. You, you're standing right there with a girl being like held up. I mean, at the time I was 27, which is not, it's not an excuse, but it's, I mean, I don't remember that. I genuinely don't remember that. It's this like a group of fangirls are given alcohol. I was like, we need to leave. I'm not the brightest fool in the shed, but I just thought, okay, this is clearly. I did leave too around the time after you left. I did head out. I went home and I possibly came back. And then when you were like looking in the room, you said nobody was in there? 
No, I didn't say that. I said I, I, I watched him go in the room, but at the time, nobody was drinking, nobody was kissing, people were fully clothed, and we were pretending to see stuff. So later on, <clears throat> the author of the article was given a video by one of the witnesses of, of someone asking, David, did you see them? And he said, no, Dom locked the door. Are you aware that Dom locked the door? Were you there when Dom locked the door? I didn't get that far into it. I was already gone. I was gone by that point. I didn't stick around. So, I, you know, people are in and out of that place. It's, it's, I know how it sounds like it's somebody's house, but that place is more looked at to David as like a, I mean, Dom lived there, mm -hmm. but at mm -hmm. the time, David looked at it as more of like a set where he would just pop in and film and we would all be in and out of there. And, you know, I never really knew too much. I didn't, I wasn't a part of the planning of any of the, any of these bits. You know, like I said, sometimes I'll suggest ideas, but David rarely use my ideas. Um, Are you guys like all in a group chat about this? Because it's so weird. You're so blindly defending them when they're like David's at fault for the most of it. And Todd has his own issues when you're you're not really at fault for any of this. But you're going so hard to just prove I'm crazy. Cat's the worst. And instead of like blaming David, who filmed this, who corroborated all this, who was there for the entire thing. Well, I can only speak for myself, really. You know, I talked to Todd, and genuinely, he told me that he didn't buy the alcohol. And, I, you know, alcohol was there. Their girls drank. I didn't see them drinking. I wasn't there for that. But, again, this is so long ago, it's tough for me to really bring this all together and, you know, play it out. Like, it, it, things were moving fast at the time. We would bounce around and film everything, just constantly trying to get stuff. So even with David, I don't know his story. I haven't been really talking to anybody really lately ex except for Todd. I asked him, like, what's the deal with the situation? Because I don't remember. And, you know, I know that I would never buy alcohol. I, 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 well, I, I believe you. Yeah. But, the, but truly, I believe that you are, you are innocent in that you didn't, you didn't create any of the situation. I believe that you I mean, are... I wouldn't, I wouldn't come on here and talk to you two because I know you guys are masters at, you know, picking well, things apart, which is... It, it, you, and you're, you're trying to explain... Well, I don't, I don't think right. your presence is evidence that you're innocent. I mean, that, that's kind of a... Uh, if that, I had anything to hide, I would not come on I here. agree, because I do yeah. think, like, David doing a two-minute apology, like, I even when you called me, I was like, wow, that's like, because he's saying, oh, is he trying to manipulate you? I was like, I don't think so, because, like, you really didn't have anything to apologize for me for. But I do think, like, Todd, you say yourself, if people are silent, they're guilty. Todd and David just being silent for so long until something so serious comes along where you're all losing brand deals. Todd doesn't do shit, so he's I mean, not yeah, losing I'm brand not, deals. I'm not, here to, I'm not here to stick up for anyone. They can speak up for themselves. Well, what I was going to say is, I don't, I don't think you're directly guilty of anything, but what I do suspect is going on is that you're withholding information that would incriminate some of your friends I'm definitely not withholding information I genuinely do not know I don't know how the alcohol got there but even seeing that passed out girl like you don't like what's like you just hung out there and you guys were like oh this is cool like what I don't I, mean, like, I, I, I left and to my understanding some of the girls were 21 and you know like people can get a hold of alcohol it's not that hard to get it's not that sure but to a get girl being blacked out alcohol. especially a fangirl like you wouldn't it's just like it, it seems weird yeah but I had no part of it I have no part of that like but so I, just I to be clear your story is changing now you left after you were saying 15 30 minutes and now you're saying well I did come back at the end of the night clearly based on the photo yeah, so I guess. The yeah, story's changed a little bit. So at what point in the party did you peek into the bedroom? Like I said, I live, I live, we live in apartment buildings. I live in an apartment in Hollywood and Dom's apartment or ex-apartment where he used to live. I understand. Yeah, you guys are neighbors. So what yeah. point during the party did you peek into the bedroom and pretend Early to see Early on. I, I mean. So things happen was, fast. Yeah. Because it like, sounds like in the video, he says, we, it wasn't happening, but after some time and convincing, we got him going. So it seems unlikely that in the first 30 minutes, people would be in that bedroom already. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, when, when, I, when I peeked in the room, it was all just pretending to try to act like we were getting something. So the girls, the girls pretended to go in there for the vlog? The girls were in there, but nobody was kissing, nobody was drinking, and nobody was on so each other. So was it a setup, though? You, you're implying that it was a setup. I am, yeah, I'm implying it's a setup. I mean, I don't give a shit. I, I've talked about this before. I've said how David sets up a lot of his bits. Yeah, I think he says it himself. It's like so the girls went in there and pretended to hook up with Dom. You're saying because that's yeah because that's a different 100%. account than than what I've heard from everybody else. Yeah, to my understanding, yeah. 
Hmm. That's that's how it happened. And they these girls they responded to Tom, Dom's you know Instagram story that you know he was asking who wanted who's going to come have a five sum or something with him something you know crazy and then they came over there and then I I, I don't know if they wanted to film I know their plan was to to be in the vlog or film that. And again, I don't want to take away from the victim because as I'm like explaining this story and trying to like voice my innocence, I feel like I'm, I'm genuinely taken away from the scumbag shit that Dom did. And I mean, that's why I'm here. Like, I'm, I'm here I just, to voice I my feel like, so if I'm, if I'm believing your story that you left and came back, I feel like you're trying to excuse David a lot in your video as well, but the fact that there's almost no way to excuse David if you believe the girls, right? You believe the girls. You're explicitly saying that. So how is it that you can say that David didn't do anything wrong either? Because he was there the whole time. If I'm to believe that you left and came back, he knew that the girl puked. He knew that the girl was black. No, I, 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 I mean, I can't speak for anyone else, but I, I, to my understanding, I think David left too. I think everybody left and what? then... And then they all came back yeah. and saw the girl blocked out. That doesn't out. make any sense, Joe. Decided to post the vlog the next day. Everybody sure. left. And look, look, I did. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Everybody left, left and came back for a everyone. photo at I the think, end I of think, the night. I'm sure Dom and a few people stayed, but I think I like, have the, this photos of you guys at the end of the night. How is it? I that probably should have touched up on on this with other people to get the exact story straight. But I, you know, I just everybody. What all, story straight? The truth or not? And that's Dom's apartment. Truth. Yeah. No. Like actually, what happened? Because because here's everybody know, I, at I, the I, end I of the night. I genuinely 100 do not remember. I mean, I know if I saw what they're saying. It's that the elevators happened. at Dom's apartment. Do you yeah. feel bad about the joke you made about like, hey, uh, they look 100%, good? Of course. Yeah. But why course, would you, I just don't understand why you would even do that. Like, it'd be so incriminating. Like, if you knew that this would look bad, why would you even be a part of it? Or I mean, look, we've all done, we're all humans, you know, we all make mistakes. You know, I'm not sitting here, like, bringing up your guys' stuff that you've done. Yeah, but I own up to it. Like, well, should I said, like, I, you can't, you say you don't, you're 100% innocent. We're, I'm There's, owning up to it. Yeah, I'm You're wrong not. You started it. your video by saying I'm 100% innocent. I'm innocent to the allegations of I supplied them alcohol that got them loosened up to be. Uh, I'm sorry, if, you know. Whatever. Censor that, Dan. I know. I know you. <laughs> it's live. Oh. That's fine. Yeah. We're not here to uh, mince mince words. Um. <clears throat> but you like continue to support Dom after this, and you knew his VidCon stuff. You knew this stuff. Like you knew that there was bad shit going on when you saw that blacked out girl, and you still put him in your videos. Like I just don't understand how it like all of a sudden I knew now. Some bad stuff was going on, and I distanced myself from Dom. I recently deleted the video, and I'm getting heat for that. I mean, I don't understand that because that's like what anybody would do. That's what Netflix would do. Like you, you know, like I have no problem happened. with you erasing the Dom videos. That's what yeah, David I'm trying does. to avoid. You know, any. Like online. But, so, do you understand how it looks a little insincere? Like, okay, I understand you're defending yourself, saying you didn't supply the alcohol and you didn't know this was happening. I believe that. But to come out and say you're 100% innocent, that feels to me insincere. To, to those allegations, I'm uh, I'm guilty by association because I was there and being a part of that, and uh, and I'm fine with that. Like, you know, I'm I'm here to tell the truth. But I think I've, that's a big thing. I am too. I've told it. I said that too. I'm guilty by association for being dead. Even the little bit I was there, like it's it's not it's not a good look. And like you should at least take. I think that's the thing. All of you and I'm, you guys all group each other and you say we we we. No one takes accountability. And you guys think you I've do nothing it, look, wrong. I've said it. I've said it. I've I've said that. Like like I talked to you personally yeah. offline, and you know I told you that I stepped away from Dom a long time ago. I haven't seen Dom in over a year. Um, even when I was texting him, I didn't even Why know. Why did you step away number. from Dom? Just because I heard story. I heard stuff. I don't know the exact stories. Um, did you I, know I that the victim referred to the text? I did not know about the text. Mm -hmm. I genuinely did not know about that text. David knew about uh, it. Yeah, I didn't know. Um, I mean, I'm not up David's ass like every. You know, like I, I'm just. I I don't. I have my own shit going on. Like that's something that I, I doubt he wants to tell everyone. Yeah, that is going on. You know, I, I know that he took the videos down and distanced himself from Dom, too. And, you know, keep in mind, we all play exaggerated versions of ourselves. It's like I wouldn't say characters, but like everybody has their thing. You know, David, when he met me, his, he, he was uh, he had found out I had been arrested. And that was like what he um, made my character kind of, you know, and whatever it is, what it is like uh, um, I was okay with that. 
Um, but Dom's character was this dirtbag, Dirty Dom. And, you know, I don't know how much is, is real and, and what's not. You know, I'd, I talked to Dom off camera and he didn't seem like as intense as he was on camera. Like when he gets into those like real scumbag bits that he would do. And look, to David, who's a 21-year-old kid, he, you know, that was his friend that he went to high school with, I believe. And I guess he thought that was cool at the time, you know. I was never a fan of the sexual bits. I, I didn't like them too much. I, I don't think they're funny. I don't do them. I make videos too. I don't make jokes like that. But um, it is what it is, you know. Like, we, we all benefited from David and his videos. So it was... uh. Yeah, it was like it was our. It was our. I mean, do was, you have anything to say to um? You characterize the author as uh. As uh, you say, she acts like she's doing the Lord's work, but she's really just trying to make money. Do you feel like that's a fair I mean, characterization? Look, I, I'll be completely honest with you. There, the focus here, it to me, is on Dom did a serious crime. He needs to go to jail. That is the, the victim, focus of the article. The, yeah, the victim, it, I, I feel terrible for, and I, I, in any way that I could help, I would love to, but I, I, like in this situation, I don't know what to do. Um, do you feel it was a fair feel, characterization to characterize the author as a, as a liar who's just trying to make money? I, I think so. I think what she did was wrong by putting my name in there with the Have story. you read the article? I have read the article afterwards, yeah, bits and pieces, yeah. I, I, I mean, I read the parts with my own name in it. You have not read I the can't entire... Speak for, I, yeah. I can't speak for other people, so, you know, like, they, they need to handle that on, on their so own. So you haven't read the whole article, is what you're saying? No. Okay. Because I feel that her characterization of you is very uh, factual and straightforward and mild. So when you say to her, you're a liar who's just after the money, you're questioning in the entire authentic, you're questioning in the validity of the entire article. And I've seen well, a lot of people like taking this. your video that way. I look at it like this. We're all, you know, this is all of our jobs, right? What you're doing now is your job. What I'm doing now is technically, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here explaining myself. Is this, is this a criminal case or is this a... I don't it, think it you... Mm. No one's pressed charges or anything yet. Okay. I don't know. So everybody is now i mean you have ads on these videos they have ads on their videos and their insider has a paywall and there's a lot of money being made off of this story where something horrible happened and the guy who did it is not in jail and we're all just making content out of it for entertainment now it seems like and i'm the only one who did not monetize my video and, and so I, mine's not monetized I'm, I'm, either. My David ones are never monetized. The stuff about you has never been monetized. I, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I, I respect the that. fact I, that people are making money has nothing to do with the validity of the article. We're all working, like you said. So for you, I to, think she didn't put the entire story together. Based properly. on what? Based on what? You she, didn't even read the no article. Interviews but mine, and I didn't even remember the situation because I, I I called immediately off impulse when I saw my name attached to something disgusting. So I. I called up immediately and I... I she said you I, denied being involved. What more do you want her to say? When two witnesses who were there say that they saw you come in with alcohol. She said, then she referred to a video of Trisha. That was not in the article. Trisha referenced... That was not in the article. It was in the article. It was not in the article. It was in your conversation. It wasn't in the article because she couldn't find the proof of it. The reference to the bar, the, the, the bar... The barbershop conversation where... where Jeff, you, that was oh not no, she yeah, that, she that was in our conversation, but she didn't put that in. That's what my problem was because I said to her, yeah, that conversation. She cut her clip right off when I was about to say, you remember that recording you played earlier? Yeah. At the end of it, I said, yeah, Todd likes whiskey, so I made fun of him in a barber shop. This is where she cut. No, you're and wrong, said, dude. No. You said in the clip that I was playing. You said she that he does drink whiskey. whiskey. I said he does drink whiskey, and that's where she cut. And right after that, I said, but that was in a barbershop episode that was filmed two years after this situation. But the way jokes. you said, I don't think that that delegitimizes everything. She said, you said, she said, is it possible Todd brought alcohol? You said, I don't think so, but he does like whiskey. Yeah, because there was whiskey there. So and how is she whiskey. mischaracterizing you? Because the way she worded it, it implied that I was covering my own ass 
but saying that Todd did kind of buy it, but I want to protect myself, which is not true. So why did, but okay, we're arguing semantics, dude. That's not enough to do. To, because overall yeah. people, even the stuff in your video, people weren't accusing you of doing anything other than like, I heard that you went to go get the alcohol. The girl said you guys brought back a whole. That was it. That was the extent of your accusations. No one said that you did anything wrong with the girls or anything, which is why it, I was she like surprised. She specifically told me that Trisha told me that you and Todd in a barbershop episode. That wasn't later it. On yeah, but that was that not in the article. To buy, buying the alcohol. That, yeah, she never like put that in on record. That's because why I said Todd likes whiskey. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I even referenced it in the article. Well, does Todd like whiskey? <laughs> Yeah, Todd loves okay, whiskey. so there you go. And you said it to her and she put it in the fucking article. But the way she So how it, are you going like to justify I putting did, her name out the there alcohol. and calling her like some liar who's just money hungry? That's just that's just a dishonest. That's just not a fair characterization. Well, well, the story here is to me, the problem is Dom. He's the one who did the essay here. And, and um, David, I think I, David. Yes. Very Supply much. Also, I, David. I, I, my understanding, it. David had no recollection of this. He Except the tag. Come the on. You're, you're, he filmed bro. it. He was there with the limped out girl. He went back to get the closure of the thing. He got he, the text message a year and a half ago. He I removed he the video. The, I thought he faked the shot the next day of that. Yes. And the, So when did this happen? When did the assault happen? The girl, you're in a photo of the girl after she was assaulted, being held up by her friend drunk, dude. All of you guys are there. And you, you also posted it. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, if you really didn't know and you see a girl like that, maybe don't include her in the vlog. Her face wasn't blurred in the original vlog. I don't control that stuff. Okay, but David does. <laughs> yeah, David literally controls that. Look, I'm not trying to make you incriminate your friend I, or anything. I just, I'm just, I just saying, uh, look, I think I'm the not, way I'm you... I'm not the guy that's going to speak up for David. Okay, okay fine. David you don't have to speak up for him, but don't account. defend him. You just credit me. Yeah. You, you, know, you say, oh, it wasn't David, it's just Dom. You. You I, did. I apologize. I apologize for discrediting you. But look, in all fairness, in all fairness, Trisha... Like we've we've met a few times in real life, and I mean the first time we met, you flashed me, you know, like at this like one of the time maybe the third or fourth time we, I went to go see you, I didn't go see you. I was in the car with David and Jason when they drove to visit you in the hospital. I don't know if you're comfortable talking about this, but which I just don't know why you were there for that. I don't know why David was there for that. David wanted to rush to see you, and I was with them. We were out vlogging and trying to get content. I mean, okay. And they rushed there to get their. Also, the possible. flashing was and consensual. Don't make it seem like I just exposed myself to you guys. I'm like, he's like, do you guys want to see Trisha's boobs? Don't act like I was just like, Ugh, you know, here's like my boobs. That wasn't. They asked. You, we asked permission. It wasn't like I just David did that. Asked. Huh? Maybe David asked. But you guys, they asked you guys. I wasn't going to just, anyways. I, didn't, I would never ask to see Jason's girlfriend's boobs. No, you didn't ask to see them. He's like, can Trisha flash you? And you guys were like, yeah. No, Trisha, I would not. I would okay. never ask. I, 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 I remember in the video, I was like, I, right. please do not. I just, just, just like you not came back. It's, you. Right. it's about that you're my friend's girlfriend. Right, right, right. Um, and then, like, yeah, the time at the hospital, is a, it's, a, it's a serious thing. You, you're at a low place, and you look much better now. But I didn't go in there and see you even, but I'm just saying from those times. I stayed out in the lobby, and I, 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 you know, I just tagged along because they wanted to rush there and get but you. But why discredit in me hospital. in these? What, because I flashed you because I was in a hospital? Now I, I'm not a credible source because, that I didn't. Because the, um, I mean, you were... Declared 5150 that night, correct? Because I overdosed. You get 5150 yeah. if you're attempted suicide. Yeah. It's not because so, I'm crazy as I try to kill myself. So then when you, you started making videos and stuff about Jason, I only heard Jason's side of the story where he tried to avoid any uh, contact with you at all because you were suicidal. And he, I he just, we fucked for four months after I was at Coachella. You were, no, I was at the house in Coachella. How do you think I got down yeah, that? that I was, don't, I, I didn't know this. I you think I just showed up? up the house. I heard you showed up at the house and j you just popped up. I can't uh -huh. control what everybody, like this is just but what I hear. you're I don't discrediting know me by witnessing this because I tried to kill myself. You're like, well, just try to kill herself, so don't listen to what she has to say. No, I, I'm, I'm apologizing for that. I'm apologizing for discrediting you. I'm just explaining why at first I did discredit you because after that, then the Starbucks situation happened and at that time, I didn't know. I, I, I know you guys had a nasty breakup. You drove your car into his house and stuff like that. So I just didn't want to be involved. And I saw you and I, I, I left because I didn't want to have an interaction with you at all because of all the stuff that had happened afterwards. And, you know, I, I, that's just me 
being. But you think that's why I, I corroborated the story when I got reached out to for comment? You at, think I'm doing this as at, like at a vendetta? The time, at the time, I I did. Yeah, I thought that. It, <laughs> but I take me out of the good. article. This these two girls still said you were the one who supplied the alcohol. So if I never gave a comment, it would still have the same story that you supplied the alcohol without me involved. But your only line of defense is to attack me. Well, it was because the article had a story from you saying that it was a barbershop episode that not in the article it wasn't in the article well that's what cat said and it's not in the article dude you think you think you would read the article you also okay. <laughs> before I making mean, a whole video anyway listen we're talking in circles a little bit i just want to get finally on the record you have you don't apologize to cat for what you said about her in your video i want to know what what cat's objective is it, is it to get the girl's story out? Yes. Because you were such a small part of it. You were literally two lines of the whole article. So the fact that you made this video blew my mind. You know, you, when you apologize, like, oh, that makes sense. You know, y you were involved in some capacity, as was I. So you're scared as, a, you know, as anybody would be. And then you made this video attacking me and Kat. And I was like, but, but that's always, not the I'm issue. Always skeptical of, of, I'm always skeptical of, of these articles that come out with clickbait titles. It wasn't and a clickbait they title. Money. They, they charge money for it. And again, I don't want to discredit the victim here, but... But it's like there is money coming from this. Where is this money going? Everything. Where, what, are good. We, what are we doing to help? I know. So, so are, am I led to believe that I, nothing in the New York Times is credible because they charge money for the newspaper? I, I'm sorry. Say that again. Am I let, should I believe that nothing in the New York Times is credible because they charge money for the newspaper? Well, I look at it like this. If you are speaking on a, on a case of a sexual assault and your goal is to get the, the story out there for the victim to get her story out and you link it to a celebrity and it makes a lot of money, I think you should use that money and give it back to sexual assault. That's up charity. to the insider. They can't, but you, dude, that's I, a ridiculous case. You can't, as a functioning journalistic newspaper, they can't set up it's an escrow account and start donating to the victims of, of every it. article they cover. It's just, it's, a, it's, felt, it's look, such I, I a felt, reach. I, I felt guilty for being a part of this and I went and donated to a sexual assault charity. Good for you. I'm happy and, you did that. And I, I'm just trying to... Why to can't you just learn. say that and let it be? Why do you have to like attack me and Kat? Because that goes a long way if you're like, this is something disgusting. I was a part of more than Todd has said, more than David has said. David didn't even acknowledge her in the apology. And it's, you've done more by donating, by talking about it, by you know making a video about it. And if you just well, that's kept... what I wanted to come on here to do. And I thought that we could talk this out and, and we could find a way to use our platforms to help. Um, and in, in any way, if it's just... Like when I tried, you cut right before I shared the article about Insider and how I actually feel about this. I've talked with actual sexual uh, <sighs> SA victims, and you know I I didn't spend time reading this specific article, but I did my research, and I feel like I'm trying to learn here in this situation. My guilt is only by association in that in that bit, just by. Going Listen, over I, again, I think I think you're, from what I can tell, a good dude. I don't think you nest you you're. I understand that you feel bad, and I believe that like you didn't have anything to do with the events that, as they unfolded. I think the intent of the author was to first of all talk about Dom, first of all talk about David, how he enabled it, and the culture of the entire vlog squad, which unfortunately you are a member of, how it, it all acts to enable this kind of thing, which I don't know if you've been following, but there's more and more yeah. videos of girls saying similar stuff happened to them like this for, through the vlog squad. Now, nobody's directly saying you did yeah, anything, everybody okay? under this vlog but I'm just squad, saying uh, that, uh, like, umbrella this is, whole... is now going down, but, like, uh, I'm, you know, for me, morally, I feel like I'm, I'm completely innocent, and now this whole thing is crashing down, and I understand it's because my name was put in this by this reporter, so that's why maybe I, I have... But okay. the vlog Again. itself, your association, even if it was a joke and you guys were faking okay. it, like, you should have sponsorships taken away for you, like, peeking in on someone having sex that's not consenting. Even if it was a They're joke, it doesn't sex. look like a joke. I, 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 didn't, I, I did not peek in on them having sex. Or faking it. In. You faked it. I faked, faked peeking in. Why would What's you do that? Yeah, to the viewer? I mean, why, did, why have you guys done the things that you have done we make mistakes you know i'm not going to get into that's detail, fine i'm happy with you owning the mistakes i just don't yeah. understand why listen i i hear you i feel i'm sorry for all the things you're going through and everything i hope that that you know you can just 
push forward and everything's going to be okay with you. I think that you don't deserve to be canceled. And I hope that you can just keep doing your show. And I know your fans are going to keep supporting you. And I hope that, you know, in time you can get through this and stay strong. And this doesn't destroy your career. I don't think that it will. That being said, Look, I, I, before I, I end, before I end, I just took a minute to think about the situation with this reporter. Yeah, I understand she doesn't run insider. Um, I apologize for putting her like I threw that video together quick and I just felt like I needed like I was being accused of these things. I had my mom texted me. She was worried that my name was linked in this stuff. And um, I was just like, you know, it was impulsive to put out a video like that so quick. So there were things that weren't perfect in it and you just chewed it apart. But I don't even think we got to the part where, oh, yeah, you did. I, I, I apologize for putting her name, her Twitter up because I wanted to send people to attack her. That was wrong, and that came off wrong, and I apologize for that. But as far as the wording of the story, it, I would have appreciated it if it was a little bit better, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess that's why you just don't talk to reporters, and that's why nobody's speaking but me. But I felt that if, if I came on here and just genuinely talked from the heart, that I would be able to show that I am – a good person. I had nothing to do with the sexual assault. I had nothing to do with the, with anything that happened inside of that bedroom. When I peeked in, it was a faked bit, and the sweaty part after was a, a fake, a setup shot after the next day. And I mean, that's my story. That's from three years ago. That's what I remember. And I, I can, I can, well, you know. I think, from what I can tell, I agree. I think you're a good dude, and like I said, I hope you get through this and you're okay. But um, what what is the goal here? Because uh, for me, it's to try to help sexual assault victims. Genuinely, I, that's genuinely what I'm I'm here for. And you know, I, well, it's, well, well, what you, well, what you're doing when you question the motives of the authors, you're basically saying that there's no article that could be about this that would be acceptable to me because they're I was making just money. Saying that if there was a paywall on it and you wanted to get those clicks through doing it this way, See, they had lawyers. Law, David's lawyers were threatening them nonstop. They have. I don't know. I, I don't know this stuff. Well, you act like I'm, I'm with David every day. Well, I it's have, in the I, article. Uh, if you would have fucking read the article. <laughs> okay, Ethan. Um, <laughs> I just think I was just like more of like I just felt like really bad that you were discrediting me because it wasn't even about me. I just think I can't, like I, I don't know why. I apologize to you so many times for discrediting you. I'm sorry for saying no, that you were crazy. I, no, I know, and I appreciate that. I think I think honestly, just taking it because like you said, you said I, I I'm guilty by association, and that is a huge thing. I've been guilty by association many times. And I think that's just a big thing. I think closure. I think just like people just admitting they did something wrong is a big thing. And then yeah, of course, you saying that at the end of the video is way more than anybody else has done. David taught anybody. So I I'm I'm all for you. I told I told Ethan when you text you know uh, sent me the thing. So it just caught me off guard yeah. this morning. I, was I also like, told Trisha the video that looks I have... really bad. Would you guys mind pulling up the video and we could go through that? Which video? The actual vlog, the deleted vlog. Sure, fuck it. Would you mind? Because I don't mind. We're here. I feel like we've given I mean, you we hell. We might as well dissect it. We dissected we've my... We've given you hell, so I might as well just let you fucking call I appreciate you saying something. I appreciate you calling me. Can someone me. slink me that video or highlight it? I mean, it it's a, this would be a cringe fest because I'm embarrassed of, of how I look in this. I, I, I saw it, you know, cut together in many videos I've been watching, especially your guys's. Jeff, you know? if I could just talk to you before you made that video, I would have told you, just say... I'm sorry. I regret being there. What happened was horrible. The fact that my name's even associated with something so terrible is just, it's humiliating and awful. I'm donating to this. I'm removing all the videos with Dom. I made a horrible mistake being involved in this even a little bit. I didn't get the alcohol, but you know what? There's confusion. The witnesses, something that you continue to ignore, say that you return with the alcohol. Maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're not remembering it right, Jeff, and that's fine. But they say it, so you keep passing the buck. Oh, it was the reporter. Oh, it was Trisha. No, it was the witnesses that were there said you came with it. Now, let's say yeah. maybe they're wrong. Maybe Todd got it. Maybe you came in yeah. and Todd got it, whatever. But there's it just, I, I, that's I, I it. That's all there is to I, it. I, I hate to discredit anyone here in this situation, even the friends. But 
knowing that I didn't get the alcohol, it's like, how can I even you can't. listen to You can't, I, I, I can't discredit anyone because it's literally just... Well, I, I mean, you can go through your bank statements from three years ago or go to the AMP no, and I check said, the security I said, records. I, I said, what do you want me to do? I go through my bank statements. There's no way that I can prove that I didn't get the alcohol. Exactly. I can tell you that I didn't buy alcohol in three... I got sober, a friend that passed away, and I, around the time I was drinking heavily. And I quit drinking completely. And I've, I used to have a podcast with Scott. And I would talk about how I don't support, you know, like I, I try to help people out with alcohol problems and stuff like that, you know. But, I mean, that's, that's regardless from this point because there were people drinking in the place. And, He's working on that, Dan. Yeah. You also told me you distanced yourself from, like, David and them. You're not really, like, in the vlog squad anymore. Well, I've been, I, I was in, in a bad accident, so I've been recovering. Was and that in Utah? And stuff like that. Your eye was in Utah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I don't really want to get into. But that, it was but, a David bit, right? It was for a vlog. I don't. Want, no, I don't want to get into any of that stuff. Okay. Okay. I've got the video. How do I share this with Jeff so he can watch it in real time? You have the ability to screen share now. What is it? It's the video that you wanted to watch. Okay. It's of the part, the footage of the party. Can you bring your mouse to the bottom of the screen? Yeah. Can you see I, it? I can't see. Is this one? Okay. Can you see out of your eye, Jeff? Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Oh. No, he's here. So you're yeah. fine. You're not. You're not blind. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but you're not. You you can see. I mean, I don't want to talk about health stuff. Really, this is about okay. the victim and not about me okay. and my own personal life. Jeff, can you see the video? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play it. These girls over to have a five some. So hopefully, I have a five some tonight. Ta -da! The girls walked in and they were like, is this the guy we're having the seventh one? <laughs> I have to let you guys we're know, I don't really know any of I mean, immediately I was, I mean, I know I'm not being the one accused here, but immediately even there you see it, I'm not really, this is not a bit, I want Nobody's to be involved. A, well, sure, nobody's saying that, right? If you just, you know, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> You guys are the only ones for me. I don't talk to any other girl. <laughs> After a couple minutes of talking... We've, we've blurred the girls, by the way, if anyone's okay. wondering. Yeah, the girls are blurred. I thought my eye actually was really bad. No, <laughs> they're blurred out. It was clear there was no fivesome happening tonight. You called it. Yeah. Oh, well. I mean, look, it, for here, if you can stop it, even here, like, Trisha, I'm sure you, you, you're, you understand this. We drive around desperately looking for bits. And like here, the emotion in our faces is like, okay, let's get the fuck out of here. This is dumb, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But um, again, this is this is all refreshing my memory because um, I came on here to just talk to you guys about it all and just be honest. So, I, I mean, yeah, I guess you keep rolling. So you left that. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Some stroke of luck and master negotiating, Dom made progress. What do you think David meant by master negotiating? What do I think he meant by that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty clear. I guess he's trying to sum up a story in his vlog with voiceover to short and everything. How do you convince someone to have sex with you in the matter of uh, the course of the uh, evening? The girls... It, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to discredit anyone, but they answered a DM that was, uh, uh, you know, basically an ad for. Yeah, but that doesn't, <laughs> to, that doesn't mean that they consent to. Uh, I yeah, mean, I, I agree. I, I, I even, I take that back. It's, yeah, uh, I mean, the fact that they answered that doesn't mean anything more than they just wanted to hang out with some celebrities. Yeah. So what do you think it means that he negotiated? His way to sleep with them oh this part was this part right here was staged that we were walking into the room mm -hmm. um and then i was over there looking into the room this was staged same day or different day this was the day we were there you and i okay i'll keep playing it but there is alcohol some time has passed. You guys, David and yeah, Dom I mean, and Dom the girls were there for two hours. Yeah, old or something like that. I mean, he could have alcohol in his house. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it, Dom lived there. So, I, you know, it's not like... 
but drinking was happening. I don't know why we're watching this. I feel like it's kind of pointless, to be honest. Okay, we don't have to. It's fine. I don't. I mean, I, this part is crazy. well. Unless you have something uh, new to add, do you have something new to add? Is there some specific? No, part I just more? wanted to get. I wanted to get through this and get through the whole story and just you know maybe I could I, I can refresh my memory and stuff. I'll go ahead and watch. It's not that much longer. Yeah. Just, just need to get in there and do an I'd rather just wrap it up. You know that's. You want to finish the video? Or you want to wrap it up? I'd say we fucking wrap it up. <laughs> Okay. Because it's, it's, you know, disturbing, and I'm sure it's triggering. So, I, I, listen, once again, I want to reiterate. I don't wish ill for you. I really don't. I think, I think you're going to get through this fine. I know it feels bad and it's traumatic. I feel like you did Trisha and Cat like Dirty, is, and that's, yeah. it, that's basically it. And I feel like you're covering for your boys. That's about it. I mean, I can, I can only speak for myself. You know, they have to cover for themselves. Yeah, I, I think Trisha, Trisha made the best point, too. It's like oh. you're misplacing your anger, I feel like. You know what I mean? The person who put you in this kind of situation was not Trisha or the victims or the reporter. I cho I mean, I chose to roll, roll, roll along and, you know, and be in the vlog. I wanted to get more jokes done, more videos done. It's our jobs. Um, but yeah, that, that wasn't the plan at all for how that went down. Of course. I understand that. And I think that's like somewhat of a success. People think I'm just trying to bring you all down. It's like, I just would like, I know as someone who's gone through some shit myself, as anybody has like closure is a big thing, taking accountability and saying like, Hey, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Including David, Jason, whatever. And this is such a minor thing. Like you just saying it, like I fucked up. Like that's a, to me, that's a big thing. Cause nobody in your group, that's why I'm surprised you're even doing this. What, like when you were supposed to be on Impulsive, I know everyone's like, you can't go on Impulsive. Like everyone in that group, I know how it is because when Josh went on it, he got ripped apart. So the fact that you're on here is like I a went somewhat. On impulsive recently. Huh. You did go on Impulsive recently? I didn't. I yeah. What? I mean, I'm going to open up and I'm going to, I'm going to like be clear on what's going on in my life. I've, I've been in a dark spot for a while now. And, you know, I didn't plan on coming out and doing any of this. I, I, the set's halfway done. I, I, you know, I, I wanted to wait for the right moment, but, um, these allegations and once i saw that email i, I just impulsively just called that reporter right away and yeah. i should have done research i should have you know read more i should have read more of the article i only cared about myself to clear my own name so i i, I apologize for that but you know I, I like it's it's like an umbrella of the vlog squad that if david does something wrong then everybody goes down you know, and this is one person who's in the in the squad now that's done something horribly disgusting, and he dragged all of us down too. Because, yeah, of course it's shocking when you get a phone call with somebody you've been partnered with for years and you had a great relationship, and now they're they're asking you that they want to end their partnership because of something so disgusting that somebody else did that I had no idea about. I genuinely had no idea about until I got the email, and then I started asking around, and then you know, I. I found out what really happened and it's, it's just been a rough couple of days. I'm still getting my thoughts together. I understand. And, now, you know, listen, I totally get it. I, I, I'm, I, I wish you well. I really genuinely do. I mean, Jeff is the most you. successful without David. So that's why I was, again, was kind of surprised because you're kind of always been your own entity. So I was kind of like, oh, he, to me, again, I still feel like you're cover, like you're hiding some things, but not to, just to cover your guys, not anything else. That'd be you now, Trisha. Huh? And you'd be the most successful without David now. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, I definitely crashed after, but I, I think, by, like, again, I, I just appreciate you I talking. I mean, look, we all, the, the, well, the, you know, we all make mistakes. Yeah. And look, you've done some, you've made some mistakes, but look, you're doing good now. You I know, made a lot of mistakes. Happier. I've made tons of mistakes. And I, I yeah. always own up to it. Obviously, going to Jason's house, I am meth. I've owned up to I don't try and sugarcoat it in any way. It's my bad, and it just is a thing. Yeah. But, Ethan's um, made a bunch of mistakes. Hey, Dan, hey, hey, Dan hey, Dan hey, even, hey, hey, hey. Dan's made <laughs> a We're bunch of mistakes. We're not here to talk about that. I've uh, <laughs> talking shit before. <laughs> Dan, Dan I, there's some places in that TikTok boxing match. I, I heard you're a TikTok, right? Oh, you my know, God. Wait, what's he saying about Dan? Good. You're good. You're going to box I'm, Dan? I'm, I'm, issuing, I'm issuing a... He's issuing offer. me a boxing challenge. Oh. Uh, no, I, I am not a TikToker. You uh, <laughs> you seem to be confused. I didn't do my research. Maybe you're Dan. Dan, you have a TikTok? 
No. No comment. I, it was the hair. It was his hair. It was just blonde hair. I thought he was a TikToker because oh, he has yeah, hair dye. No, that's AB. You want to fight AB? He's thinking oh, about AB. I okay. think, yeah. You're listen, a little, you're a little listen. Confused. Let's. I wish you well. I appreciate that you were willing to come call in and subject yourself to this abuse. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think you've abused them. Right. I don't you think guys are, you, you guys well, are. Well, I, I use that to uh, pro Well, you know, you guys well, should be. You, I, I feel like at this point, this should have been a criminal case and it should be investigated by. Well, it might be. It's a fresh story. I think a lot of times girls are scared. Most people are scared. That's why they don't come out with it. Up until recently, when like Big Nick, Seth, I think other people are coming out now because they're not as scared of David's power, which he had a lot of power. People saw what happened to me when I left. You know, everyone thought I was crazy and I was, you know tossed aside or whatever so people were scared but i think more people come out now because you know yeah but that's not always the case and i can speak for that like the group sometimes people choose to leave and sometimes people are they they genuinely do something wrong and i've seen some people that have you know done something wrong and taken advantage of david's name and want to accuse him of stuff after. you think that's me i'm not saying david's perfect no i'm not saying that's oh. you you're fine on your own you and ethan got a great uh -oh. show here <laughs> i was like i didn't do that yeah, yeah. Um, but like, for instance, I mean, I don't want to spill the beans on too many people, but uh, also I can't just make an accusation and, and not back it up. Um, fuck it. Should I say it here? Do you guys want dirt or do you want it? <laughs> yes. Yes. Tell us, please. It was something. Uh, fuck. I mean, it's such a, it's such a, uh, I mean, it's a guy I don't want to have beef with. Who is and it? I shouldn't say it. Go Brandon. ahead. Go ahead. No, it's not Brandon. Go ahead. I can't think of any other Zane. No, Zane. Go I'll ahead, Jeff. With. Um, I'll wrestle Zane. Jeff, um, <laughs> what is it? Uh, no, that I like. I've seen you have people on the show here, and not to discredit the other situation with the SA, but um, I know Big Nick came on here, and I mean, I, like again, I don't, I don't want to have fucking problems with Big Nick, but um, yeah, he was. Uh, he was caught doing some sketchy stuff and i'll just tell you the story we had like an easter egg hunt vlog on uh you see now i feel like a rat and i came on here to to do something different but uh yeah fuck it i don't even want to tell a story because it's like yeah it's not even my do you business. want to complete the thought know. because it might be Misconstrued no, I don't want to throw people under the bus. I, you know, I came on here to, to just voice my concerns for the victim and and say okay. my innocence. So I think I think I think we've said all that that we need to hear today. So yeah, I don't. I want wish you well. I think you're gonna be fine. You're gonna make, you're gonna get through this. Just you know, do your thing, and uh, I think you'll be all right. And your eye yeah. story, tell it, because I think there's a lot of speculation on it. I read the blog, so I feel like I know. Should... Everybody has something to say. They think I'm blind. They think I got a glass eye. And, you know. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's stuff that, like, I, look, I'm wearing glasses because, you know, I, got, I, I haven't been filming videos because I'm a little insecure about it. So I've just been laying low. And mm -hmm. um, I had some surgery done on it. So that's why, like, when I was dealing with this reporter and stuff, um, on pain meds and like my eyes stitched shut and I'm emotional and you know that's why I just call when everybody's like don't call just you know well I understand yeah. the listen you have nothing to hide or I mean supposedly I would consider apologizing to Kat I think you did her dirty but that's but that I think that's about the only thing I want to say about yeah, that, I apologize so. for putting her name in and saying like look this is her Twitter I, I apologize to you for that cat that that you didn't deserve you don't deserve to get a bunch of hate but um, there were some things in the article that I just can't, you know, I, I can't apologize to her because she still put in knowing that they were not All right. true. Well, I do suggest reading it and then maybe you'll change your mind. We I got read one the and a half apologies. Yeah. I got one. One and a half. All right. Thank you for Thanks. calling in, Jeff. Take care. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Nice Bye. All right. meeting you. Bye. So he didn't read the article. Our hunch was right. Right. Probably a lot could have been avoided if he read the article. <laughs> But I feel bad. I do feel bad for him because I feel like he well, is, you know, a I little do, bit. I feel bad on a him. On, like, I yeah. feel bad on a human level for right, him right, right. I like, because I know what he's going through. Yeah. But before he makes this epic my truth statement, he got to fucking...
get his shit straight. A little I think bit. he he's obviously the emotional one of the group because even on the Scott cast, like he's always like come for me. Like he's the one that's like a little fiery in the group. So I think he just got like a little bit heated in the moment. But um, his and eye, dude and dude, I didn't say, but you got to take those videos down that the sponsor asked or cut it oh, out. Or yeah. you got to figure that out, bro. Trust me, you just just you can't. You don't want that. So he did. He does. He does apologize for discrediting me. He doesn't. Yeah, he apologized to you. He gave Cat a half apology. I'll take it. Yeah, you got a full-on you know, apology. Yeah, that was good. I guess. Yeah. I was like, what? What does me having going to? But at the same goal? time, what does that mean for his video that's still up for his channel, where he's basically saying right. Trisha caught? You know what I mean? Like, I think. I hope so because <laughs> it's not accurate. It's not accurate. Um. If I was Jeff, I would reshoot a better apology. And put it out there. Right.